Sorry, we're leaving you, Corneal. See you soon. Bernie? What? Hmm. Bernie, haven't you forgotten something? Uh, I got a comic book, a video game, a sandwich. No, I'm cool. Got everything. Tell me, what day is it? Uh, Tuesday. Yes, but isn't it a very special Tuesday? Today's two for one special pizza day, right? No, today happens to be my birthday! Oh! Ah, oh, come on. Don't be like that, Corneal. Mm. How could you have forgotten? <laughs> I wish you a happy birthday. I wish you a happy birthday. I wish you a happy birthday and a gift for Corneal. See? I didn't forget. Oh, Bernie, you remembered. Ah! Huh? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Isn't that what you asked for? <laughs> so, this is my birthday gift, hmm? Okay, it wasn't from me. But isn't it great to have a new pal to uh, talk to? Oh, oh Cornelia, darling, we're home. Hmm? Quick, Bernie, we have to hide the puppet before John and Beth see it. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, Bernie, hide it! <laughs> Happy birthday, Cornel! Where did that adorable little party pie come from? Uh, that, uh, this is uh, Elvis. His name is Elvis, and he comes from, uh, uh... John, did you see how much he looks like our Cornel? Cornel. You sly dog, what have you done? <laughs> wow, they really do look like each other. But that means that Corneal is a daddy. Oh, now I get it. Holy cow, Corneal. I hope there aren't any other surprises we don't know about. <laughs> uh... mm -hmm. <gasps> there was no one at the door, but I found this. Uh, uh, hang on, Corneal. Are there more where those came from? I'm gonna call you Johnny. I'm awesome at naming dogs. Bernie! We must find out where these overactive puppies come from so we can return them to their real parents. Shh! Don't listen to Daddy. He doesn't mean it. Watch my chops, Bernie. I am neither Elvis nor Johnny's father. You should be ashamed of yourself, rejecting your children right in front of them. Oh, I'm begging you, you've got to believe me. This joke is in very poor taste. Why would you want to hide that puppy when John and Beth came in then, huh? Uh, I don't know. Uh, just a reflex, baby. Yeah, well, I have the same reflex. Whenever I've done something bad, I hide it. Did you see? Go on, Elvis. That's it, Johnny. <laughs> That's great, Johnny. Oh, hey. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Good dogs! <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> both of them at the same time. That's great. Hey, Corneal, do you see what I bought for them? Corneal, come and play with us. Hmm. Uh. Oh. Corneal! Corneal, I am deeply disappointed in your lack of paternal instinct. You should be kinder to them. At that age, children feel things far more deeply than we realize, you know. Hmm. I... <laughs> Believe me, Bernie, those puppies are not mine. Listen, Corneal, you gotta stop denying the facts. Bernie? <laughs> wow, hey there, miss. <laughs> Kids, follow me. We're going to play. Go on. Go fetch. <laughs> so long. Bye bye. No hard feelings. <laughs> That's horrible. I'm a monster. Corneal, we are both profoundly disappointed in you. Confess my terrible crime to Bernie. Perhaps he'll forgive me. No, I have done the unforgivable. Oh. Uh, Come on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Bernie. I... Oh. Oh. I'll never abandon you. I swear. I'll take care of you for the rest of my life, even if I'm not your father. Cornel. Ooh. Corneal, I'm glad to see you've returned to your senses. <laughs> Corneal, this has to stop. Okay, you're Bob, and you can be, uh, Mike. <laughs> Say, when you decide to have a family, you do it in style. Oh, would you stop making jokes? We have to concentrate. This is a very serious matter. You could have at least introduced me to the mom. Oh, we must find the puppy's owner and figure out why they keep appearing on Beth and John's doorstep. Yeah, we gotta find the stork who delivers baskets of puppies and force it to confess. <laughs> oh, the baskets! You're right. We'll follow the basket trail. <laughs> And here's the address of the basket store. Now all we have to do is subtly question the store owner. Where do the puppies come from? Confess! Give us the name of your accomplices! Young man, please talk a little louder. I don't hear well out of this ear. Where do the puppies come from? <laughs> Um, oh, uh, now I see. You're Mrs. Solange's delivery man. How many baskets does she need today? <laughs> Two baskets the day before yesterday, ten yesterday, and now more today. What on earth does she need all those baskets for? Mrs. Solange, there. Good. Got it. <laughs> Nobody's home. Oh, I'm sure this is the place. Help me scale that wall. <laughs> well, it's confirmed. These are the puppy's parents. <laughs> oh, Janice. Oh, Jimmy. I am so, so sorry. Uh huh? 
Taking care of all those puppies was just too much for me. So I decided to give them to people who would love them and have the means to raise them properly. But ever since they've been gone, Janice and Jimmy have been so sad. It breaks my heart. Please let me have them back for Janice and Jimmy's sake. Oh, this is so sweet. Elvis, Johnny, Bob, Mike, and uh, the upper guys. I'm gonna miss you all so much. There, there now, Bertie. It'll be okay. John, this is so hard. <laughs> what if Cornel was the puppy's godfather? Uh, that way we could help you raise them and maybe even come and visit from time to time. Oh, John, what a wonderful idea. You'll always be welcome to come and visit. You'll be able to watch them grow up. 